did you think it was, pink champagne? Funny I may be, but mark my words, all these modern discussions of everything only lead to immorality. You've only got to read the papers to see that. I think for your scruples, garçon bring champagne. Oh well, we better have tea, come along. We're six dirty little boys. Why did you not go with him? I hope you'll be comfortable here. Only some more than others. I'm not a suspicious woman, but I don't think my husband has been entirely faithful to me. some very sombre looking cake and an apple. That's apparently all you do read, Miss Maudsley. Oh, this is too frightful for words. Poor, poor mother. Come, Herbert, cast aside your melancholy air and let us order some wine. Perhaps it would be rather romantic in this sort of way. Brixton 8146, please. Hello, is that you, Mr. Isaac Steen? It's Miss Baker speaking. Will you fetch my mother down, please? Yes, it's important. Oh, look here, don't cry, miss. It don't matter. Are we in Paris or Brussels, Harry? Up, girls, and at Take it from me, she was a good girl then. Your mother's nurse, I gather from her descriptions, rather a gaunt woman upon a false birthday, snatched from her hand a small woolly dog on a stand recently given her by Auntie Jessie. Early look. If I said anything to offend you, I can only say I'm sorry. I hope you'll be comfortable here. Oh yes, divine. Oh, damn. Absurd creatures, how ridiculous you are. But when he got impassioned and began to raise a hoax. Very human, madame, lives like that. I fear that perhaps we both have been a trifle hasty. Oh, do look at that man with the beard. Isn't he like Uncle Bob? Hurry up. Violet had better begin, Mother. It always starts more quickly for you than anyone else. Take it from me, she was a good girl then. I recited it at my school concert when I was six. Who absolutely appalling? Jim's dead. What? Who's Jim? And my dear, I looked him full in the face and said, just because you're in France doesn't imagine you can take liberties. A little touch of the green-eyed monster, I'm afraid, Mrs. Hubbard. I'm off to have a paddle. About three months, my husband went to Australia. Isn't it dreadful? No, darling, I won't listen to you. I'm very, very miserable. It's been a terrible shock. Very well, I'll forgive you. Kiss me, then. Yes, tonight, somewhere quiet, really quiet, really quiet. I shan't have any appetite. No, that would be too heartless. No, that would be too dull. Say the embassy. All right. Goodbye, darling. Bobbly-wobbly. 
And my dear, I looked him full in the face and said, just because you're in France, don't imagine you can take liberties. I fear that perhaps we have both been a trifle hasty. Darling, Contessa, don't be so tiresome. Coming. She was possessed last Tuesday by that beastly dog, and nothing will convince me to the contrary. Whatever he says, it was all our fault. human, madame. Life's like that. If I said anything to offend you, I can only say I'm sorry. I must go now, at once. Really, I must. You ask me that? You know me, Herbert. I am young, I want life. I have come to see the flam. Are we in Paris or Brussels, Harry? She's mousing sure as fate. Min, he, min, 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 min. I can't bear her to be out too late. You never know what might happen. Melody, semi spheroidal, in all its innate rotundity. Rhubarb for purposes unknown. Did he attach any awful significance to that? I beg your pardon.